fans, welcome on in. Right in front of me today, I've got this cool box. It is one of the four boots that are part of the Puma Evo Speed World Cup Streetwear Collection. You might recall there were four released. This version is the Alife version. There's three others. There's the Colette, the Kith, and the Bap. And we're going to take a look at these right now. I'm going to unbox them and let you guys see what's inside if you decide to pick up one of these exclusive limited edition pairs. Let's move the box to the side. Boots are right there. First off, you get an additional boot bag. It's always nice to get a boot bag. We don't normally see Puma, including these inside. Has the Alife branding on the front, which is really cool. The boots themselves, let's take a look at them real quick. I'll let you see them up close first. You got a lot of Alife text on there. That's basically the Alife logo in three different colors, red, green, and blue. Runs right around the upper. What's unusual, and I didn't actually notice this before I got them in hand, is these are actually cigarette lighters. And I kind of researched this a little bit and looked online and there's actually several images where Alife released their own cigarette lighters and they have some arts, art to do with that. So it's very, very unusual. You don't normally see something like that in a boot. What Puma did is they reached out to a lot of um, fashion companies, the four fashion companies that I mentioned, and they basically asked them if they could come up with their own personalized design to be featured as part of the World Cup collection and this was the version that Leaf I came up with. It's uh, The boot itself is the 1.2 Evo Speed 1.2. You don't get any touch control compound in the upper but you get all the rest of the technology including um, the Everfit cage inside. You get that big old heel counter that's very useful and then underneath the speed track system and that adds additional support through the midfoot which is very useful. Means that you gotta spend some time breaking them in but still useful. On the side you get a big Puma hit. It's not as noticeable because of the color clash. This same um, Puma hit on the side is put on the 1.3. This is the 1.2 version as I said. So it looks like Puma transferred this over to the 1.3. The only difference is on the 1.3 it is actually textured whereas it's smooth on this version. Pretty cool release nonetheless. And it depends what you're into. If this is, is your type of style or design in a boot. You get the Alife hit on the tongue as well. So there you have it guys, just want to give you guys a quick unboxing and let you see what's on offer with this boot. There is not much information available on them, so hopefully this will prove useful to you. As I said, there are four boots released as part of this um, combination or collection. All four are currently available at worldsoccershop.com. On initial release, they were all placed on the specific stores for each brand, but World Soccer Shop got a limited edition run, so they're all available there. You can check them out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Before you do leave, I'd appreciate if you leave a comment down below. Let me know which of the four versions you like best and why, if you enjoy this Alife version. And I'm going to leave a subscribe button on the screen. Definitely appreciate if you get signed up to check out our exclusive video unboxings just like this one. There you have it guys, this is the Puma Evo Speed 1.2 Alife version of the World Cup Streetwear Collection. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.